hello guys welcome back to my channel thanks for coming back to watch i really appreciate the love on my previous videos i'm really grateful thank you please keep sharing liking and commenting on my videos if you like what you see here all right let's get right into today's video so in today's video i'm going to be telling us about the Malta visa study interview questions and answers so i'm just going to be telling us those questions i was asked some of the answers I gave, and yes, I got my visa, I'm in Malta now. So let's get right into it. First, I would like to say you need to be confident. And all the questions that is going to be asked by the interviewer is based off of what you wrote in your visa application form. So you need to know everything you wrote in your visa application form because I believe you should be the one to fill it yourself. Even if someone helps you do it, you have to go through everything in your visa application form, know every single detail you've written there, because it wouldn't be a nice thing they ask you a question based off of what you wrote in your application form and you don't even know or you give a different answer. That alone can disqualify you. So please be confident. Make sure you know everything you filled in your visa application form. Another thing is the interview is, is recorded, of course. So... They are going to be seeing your mannerism, how confident you are, talking to them, answering your questions. And they will tell you that if they notice you have help, the interviewer will mention it to you that if they notice your, you know, that you have help from someone or there's someone close to you, that they will take note of that. So you wouldn't want that. You need to be sure that you are alone in the room when you are doing the interview, away from noise, and look right into the camera confidently. Although I wasn't seeing the interviewer's face, but I had to on my video, of course, so that they can see where I am and see that I'm not with anybody. So you need to be confident, look into the camera and answer confidently. Speak clearly so that the person interviewing you can hear what you're saying. So the first question is your name, your date of birth, your place of birth. And basically, all this is in your application form but the interviewer will still ask you just to confirm that what you tell them is the same thing with what is in your form tell me something about yourself you have to be short precise straight to the point i just included okay this is my name i have a bachelor's degree in so 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 course i graduated from so so university in this year and this is my reason for wanting to i included in my reason for wanting to do my current course which is business and management i mentioned something about how i developed an interest in business and i just want to learn more about it very short and brief when you're talking about yourself short and brief if you can include why you're doing the course fine because you just have to go straight to the point the third question is your family and hobbies you just have to talk about your family and what your hobbies are and I want to tell you that more questions might come up based on what you tell the interviewer. I told the interviewer that I love to cook and he asked me what food. The next question he asked was, what food do I like to cook and all that. So make sure that all the answers you give, if a follow-up questions come up, you can defend it. Don't just say something because you feel it's going to make you look good. Make sure that if a follow-up question comes from what you tell the interviewer, you can confidently defend what you've told him earlier. Why are you coming to Malta? You have to give reasons why you are coming to Malta. Why you've chosen Malta to even study in the first place. That was what I said here. I'm coming to Malta because I want to do a master's in my school, GBS Malta. And I chose Malta because after I compared with other schools in other countries, I loved everything I read or everything I saw in my research about Malta is safe is the tuition is cheaper and the level of education is really a good one you know just give reasons why you chose Malta as your place of study that's just what the interviewer wants to hear just have to be short and go straight to the point and of course because i told the next question i was asked was what european countries did i compare Malta with because i told the interviewer that i I compared Malta with other countries, other European countries. So the next was he asked me which other countries. And I just told him. And I still reaffirmed the reason why I, I chose Malta. So 
you see how it goes. What you tell them, a follow-up question might come up from that. Next question, did you find the course all by yourself? Please, 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 and please. Yes, you found the course all by yourself. Because I want to be sure that this course you're doing, this thing you're doing is your own decision and chose it by yourself. They want to be sure that you made the decision to do the course. Did you apply yourself? That, that would be the next question. Yes, you applied by yourself. So you're supposed to know everything that is going on in this application. When the visa application form is being filled, you're supposed to know each and every step. So when you're asked, did you find the course by yourself? Did you apply by yourself? Please say yes. I mean, I said yes because actually I did everything myself. I didn't get any agent to do it for me. So this only goes to show that you know what you're doing. You made the decision by yourself and they are sure you know what you're doing. Next question is tell me about Malta. So here the interviewer wants to be sure that you know one or two things about Malta. Just say everything you know. For me, I told the interviewer where Malta is located is a mediterranean island located that is close to italy you know there are some things i said which i can't even remember now i talked about i told the interviewer who the prime minister is who the current president i talked about the capital of malta i just said facts about malta that i will show that truly this person did her research about malta you know just important things that you're not supposed to miss about malta that was just what I told the interviewer. He wants to be sure that you know a few things about the country you intend to come to study in. The name of the school you're going to, of course, you should know the name of your school. You just tell the interviewer what the name of the school is. Name of the course, you tell the interviewer what course you're coming to do. It's level of the course. Now, Malta has, there's something we call MQF, which is the Malta Qualification Framework. So for each degree, there are levels to it. For me, I'm doing the master's. So the master's program in Malta is at level seven, MQF level seven. So when the interviewer asked me, what is the level of your course? I told him level seven. He asked again, level seven. I had to reaffirm, yes, is at the level seven of the MQF, which is the Malta Qualification Framework. I guess the reason he asked again when I said level 7 was because I didn't include the MQF. So he wanted to be sure that I knew about the motor qualification framework. So I completed and said yes, level 7 of the motor qualification framework. So you need to know. All this is, should be on your school website. I believe when you're researching about your course on your school website, you should see it there. I mean, mine is on my school website, so it's very easy to pick out. The interviewer will ask you, what, tell me about the course you're doing. Now, it's very easy. You don't need to know everything about the course. You just need to tell him the overview of the course that you're going to do. And a very important thing, please and please go through the modules of your course. I'm happy I did this. When you're telling him about the course, just tell him about few of the modules you'll be doing. Because I told him, okay, this is the course I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to be taught during the duration of this course. And these are some of the modules I'll be taking. There are about nine of them. I mentioned, I think I mentioned the nine. I listed out the modules to him. And the next question he asked me was, how many modules are you going to do? And I told him nine. And he said, okay, and we moved on to the next questions. So this will show that you really know what you're going to do. You know about the modules. And it's going to put you in a good light. Remember, this um, interview is going to be recorded so whosoever that is going to give you this visa based on what would have seen in the interview recording should see how confident you are should see how knowledgeable you are about the country the core and the course you're coming to do what is the duration of the course of course you should know the duration of the course if you're doing a bachelor's program you should know how long it will last if you're doing a master's or a diploma you should know how long it will last so you just tell the interviewer that how much is the course and how much have you paid so just tell the interviewer what is the amount that you're asked to pay for the course and how much have you paid if you've paid 100 percent you tell the interviewer if you've paid 50 percent you tell the interviewer who will pay for the course now if you have um a sponsor then I think, I think this is where more questions will come in. 
Because after he asks he the interviewer asks you this question, who will pay for the course? If you say you paid yourself or your parents, based off of all the doc, remember I told you all the questions that will be asked is based off of what you've written or what you filled in in your visa application form. If you indicate that it's self, that is self-sponsored, of course they won't ask you about sponsor information. But if you indicate that you have a sponsor, of course they are going to ask you about your sponsor, your relationship to your sponsor, and all that. So you need to be you need to be prepared. Know all your sponsor information if you're using a sponsor, but if you're not using a sponsor, then fine. So other school certificates. Of course, if you have a BSc, if you have a master's, whatever other school certificates you have, you need to tell the interviewer. Do you have a job? I was actually asked this question because I indicated in my visa application form that I was working, that I had a job in Nigeria. Of course, I was working, so that was why I got this question. But if you were a student before deciding to come to Malta for studies, you just have to indicate it in your visa application form that you're a student. And the question for your interview would be about your school, what you studied, or what you were studying in school. So that's just... How long have I been working? Because, of course, I indicated I was working. I told them, what is my salary from my workplace? Where will you live in Malta? Very important. If you've booked an apartment, you need to tell them precisely the address of the apartment. How much is your accommodation? Of course, you have to tell them how much you've paid for the accommodation or how much you intend to pay for the accommodation. How will you commute from your house to the school? If you're going via a bus, if you're going to be using Uber, you just tell the interviewer. The interviewer just wants to be sure that you know the distance from the from your house where you'll be staying to the school. And I was asked if this is my first time, this is your first time traveling out of Nigeria. What are your plans for the future? I believe you coming to study in Malta has something to do with it. So please mention it when you are you know, talking about your plans for the future. How many countries will the visa allow you to travel to? So the interviewer asks, if you are given the visa, how many countries will it allow you to travel to? This is a, like, it's a very easy question. The interviewer just wants to know if you know about the Schengen visa. Of course, if you get the visa, you're, what you're getting is the Malta Schengen visa. And the Schengen visa allows you to travel to about, I think, 27 or 28 um, Schengen countries. I, I can't remember now, but it should be around that number. So you tell the interviewer, okay, uh, for me, I told the interviewer that I made research online and I found out that Malta is um, part of the Schengen countries. And if I get this visa, I'll be able to visit other Schengen countries. Is there any country you want to visit in summer? Or is there any country you have in mind to visit? Please don't go there and start telling them, oh, I want to visit country A, country B, country C. Remember, the purpose of your coming to Malta is to study. Please and please. Just go straight to the point and say, for now, I've not thought about it. Plus, Malta is a beautiful country. I feel I would, I have so many places to visit. So once my school is on summer holiday, I can take the time to further explore Malta. Don't go and start mentioning all the countries in this world that you want to visit because you're coming to study. Remember, you're supposed to be focusing on your study. And if you have holidays, of course, you should use it to explore the country you're in first. So please don't go there and say you want to visit 100 countries. Do you have friends and family in Europe? Of course, if you do, you just say, have you booked your flight? Of course, you answer, yes, you have. What is your travel route? You need to know your travel route, of course. For me, I was to leave from Lagos to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, from Ethiopia to Rome, and then from Rome to Malta. The next question I was asked is, do you know why you're stopping in Rome? <laughs> I didn't expect that question, honestly. Do you have a travel insurance? That's the next question. So, yes, you do. Um, the interviewer asks, what is the duration of the travel insurance? So, do you have a travel insurance? What is the name of the travel insurance? And what is the duration? And that is it. That is, that is the end. That's the last question I was asked. You see, nothing so difficult. If you didn't do your research well, you would find it difficult to actually answer some of these questions. Thank you very much for watching to this point. I hope this helps. 
one or two people out there that is preparing for the interview i wish you all the best please like share and subscribe have a wonderful day and stay blessed bye